But obviously, we received a ton of questions, a flood of questions about some of the other scandals engulfing professional wrestling at this moment. Which, as we said on the special edition of the drive through you were kind of swept into for a moment there. <laughs> But, I got I got caught up in the in the uh, tide swimming down the stream while I was trying to cross over to the other side. While in a lot of cases there are allegations being thrown out there, and sometimes the other side has not publicly responded yet, or the story's still coming together, there have been a few cases where there was almost immediate action. Whether it's a wrestling promotion cutting ties with the performer, a wrestler's independent promotion immediately ceasing operations the deletion of Twitter accounts, the issuing of, in some cases, bizarre apologies. One of the people, I'm going to... Well, 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 and and let me say this. I I said this on yesterday's program also. I don't know what to comment on anymore. Imagine this, Jim Cornette being prudent, but I don't know what to comment on anymore because, as we've just seen over the last several days, sometimes people are just full of shit. So... I made it a point to say that I wasn't going to, and I'm still not going to talk about anything where somebody just said something about somebody else. And the other person either hasn't said yay, nay, or, or whatever. And I don't, it like deleting Twitter, you know what, except that you force me to retweet our various audio projects. I don't know that I wouldn't do that myself because I've found out, you know, over the, last uh, several months, especially, that most of the people on Twitter actually really don't exist when you... <laughs> uh, but, so that's it. So, uh, you know, once again, just because somebody said something about somebody, no. But if you're... As I said, I closed down my store because I couldn't handle the goddamn uh, business. But if you're closing down your business... Uh, and, and, uh, you know, or issuing these weird apologies that kind of sort of say that, yeah, I did it, but not really, or, uh, basically just being, you know, obviously what's the, I'm, I'm trying to f- pick my words carefully now guilty. Nobody closes their business. If they didn't do something wrong, Nobody fucking goes to rehab if they don't have some kind of problem that may have led to them doing something wrong. It's just, oh, shit, they caught me for something else. I guess I'll go to rehab. You know, so in some of these cases, yes, we can kind of fucking comment on it, I would think. But in other people's cases, you never know what the fuck's going on because people, in case we haven't all noticed, are out of their fucking minds. Well, in terms of people we possibly could comment on, you know, stop me wherever you want. (laughs) I possibly could. But obviously, since everything is broken, Joey Ryan, originally it was just his name was out there and then stories started coming in. I read somewhere it's over 14 different accusations now. In the meantime, he issued a statement, and I have a section of that here. He then deleted his Twitter. He then shut down his wrestling promotion. The word going around is he will not be returning to Impact as part of apparently a group called Cancel Culture in Impact, which is astounding, all things Karma, 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 chameleon. Karma doesn't sell the dick flip. (laughs) Um, All right. Anyway, get to the point here there, pal. Let me ask you, because obviously with all these accusations, some of these explanations some of these apologies of sorts have been interesting have you read the joey ryan one i oh yeah that's the first thing that i ran to uh actually contrary to uh, probably some people's popular belief uh, you know i'm i'm not that fucking dedicated to his downfall but I, I would be more than happy to hear the gist of it let me read you two short paragraphs here and just let me know what your interpretation of this apology is As I am sure you are all aware, several years ago, and all in a very short period of time, a lot of things changed in my life. The dick flip went viral. I started traveling the world and living a rock and roll lifestyle. Oh, Jesus. I came into contact with a lot of people, including women. And the truth is, I did not always treat people with respect. And I will acknowledge that it was possible that I pursued people that I thought were interested in me and invaded their personal space and made them feel uncomfortable in the process. 
And then uh, there's a section here about his uh, divorce. And then this last one, I have worked hard to make wrestling a safe and welcoming place for everyone. I will make up for my shortcomings of the... <laughs> I'm sorry, just him using the word short cracked me up there. Well, well, I, yeah. I will make up for my shortcomings of the past by working harder in the future to continue to do that. With all of the different social movements happening right now, we need to take this opportunity to listen and learn and continue to strive every day to do better. And then after releasing his statement, I'm reading an article here. After releasing his statement, at least 15 more people have accused Joey Ryan of sexual... 15? What? 15? It says here, this is an article on SoCal Uncensored, which is kind of the main site for wrestling news out of Southern I thought California. that was Daniels and Kazarian and... Well, they're... Scorpions. It's kind of like the Rolling Stones, the band, and Rolling Stone magazine. Oh, the magazine. Okay. So this is SoCal Uncensored, the website, which covers Southern California wrestling news. And it says, after releasing a statement, at least 15 more people have accused Joey Ryan of sexual misconduct, including wrestlers, announcers, and fans. And some of the names are names that are known to people around wrestling. Also, other wrestlers such as Ryan Nemeth, who's the brother of Dolph Ziggler, have come out and spoken out against Joey Ryan. Uh, and then the Bootleg Theater, which was the home of bar wrestling, have ended their relationship with the promotion. What are your thoughts on all of this, starting with the apology? And what thoughts do you want to share? Do you feel comfortable well, about sharing about well, this? Well, you know, no, here's the, do you feel comfortable about this? No, I'm, I'm, I need to go, and my hands are shaking now as I say this. I need to compose myself. <laughs> no, here's the fucking thing. The the overall bigger picture is who's the first person to fucking run their mouth whenever somebody supposedly is offended by something that I said. I hate babies or I hate women or whatever. You know, the people that were most quick to jump in and, and try to score the brownie points. Like we used to say, I don't know what all the technical terms are these days. This, the virtue signaling brownie points, suck ups that want to arbitrate other people's fucking behavior in their personal life. Except in, in, in actuality, if I do every once in a while have a fucking hilarious one liner do I talk about people's personal lives? I talk about how they relate to professional wrestling because that was my profession, and that's the primary topic of what we talk about on these programs. And as I've mentioned before, I could give a fuck whether anybody else blows a goat as long as they don't do it on the fucking wrestling program and it makes the business look silly. So the whole idea that all of these people that were the first ones to jump out and tell whenever I or somebody else said something that was so offensive or is related to the wrestling business turns out to be a fucking asshole in real life. Imagine that. Wouldn't you know who won the pony? So I'm not going to tap dance on this fucking idiot. Like everybody wants me to. And then a lot of people will just say, Oh, right now look, he's trying to deflect because he's such a perverted individual or that, well, yeah, Cornette, he sure likes to talk about other people. He can dish it out, but he can't take it. I'm going to talk about a guy that's been a public figure in the wrestling business, not a fucking middle-aged housewife, not fucking civilians. And basically that's the deal. If you have just come out and if, if you have just come out and said, okay, I acted like a dick and wow, I couldn't have imagined that just making people have sex with me, whether they wanted to or not, and, and browbeating them down over a long period of time, apparently, or, or squeezing my way into their room or whatever, just to put them in a bad situation. I've just realized that's wrong. And how old is Joey Ryan? Joey Ryan is 40 years old. So three years ago, he started making big money and living the rock and roll lifestyle, was a 37-year-old supposed grown adult man. I was making six figures when I was 22 years old. And I still managed not to become a fucking lunatic. Well, that's open to debate, but... <laughs> You know what I'm saying. I got you. It much less being a 37 year old man that should have figured out, hey, I'm being lucky. I'm lucky enough. I'm making some money at something I'm not real good at for the first time in my life for a bogus reason. So maybe I just ought to go a few years without fucking up. 
Uh, but anyway, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm sure he feels bad enough. But like I said, if somebody is out there saying, well, yeah, I did it, but I didn't mean it, when it's obvious that it's something you shouldn't actually probably done, or closing their business down or out of shame, even people can get fired for bullshit reasons. You know, so we'll see what happens with everybody. But for you know, when you when you close your business down, go to rehab or say, yeah, I did it, but I just didn't realize that it was a bad thing to do. Um, you know, it, 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 that's kind of eh. if 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 somebody's telling you, no, we over it over again, no, we 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 really don't want to do something. And besides that, for fuck's sake, I can only think of one fucking fringe wrestling personality I've known in years that would was above the age of 40 something and was forcing themselves on a teenager. Who's that? I didn't say any names. Mail order bride. Oh. A hill man <laughs> leads a lonely life. A hill man all needs right, a all loving right. wife. All right. I, I got where you're going with that. I don't know if anyone else will, but time will tell. 